The, the film endures because the, the monster of the suit is just so unique. It just captured my imagination from, you know, I was probably you know, seven years old at the time. In fact, you know, it's been the inspiration to so many movies like, you know, Predator, Aliens. Without the creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, you know, who knows if those monsters would even exist. It was just very well conceived. If you look at the lines on that creature, the, the way the brows are, the gills, you know, how the body, the fins were divided, all the texture on there. It's actually so ahead of its time and so naturally uh, designed and sculpted and created. You can just tell there was a, a sophistication that at the time in the, in the 50s, the movie creatures just did not have anything even to that level. So the creature really inspired me to, to want to create monster suits. And, uh, you know, subsequently when I got into the film industry, I got to create monsters like Predator and, and the, the Gill Man from Monster Squad. To me, my favorite piece is the, uh, the life-size Aurora head that uh, Adam Doherty, the creature kid, executed. Uh, it's just flawless. Something about the design is so different from the actual creature movie. I just wanted to recreate that feel. It was a very 60s vibe to the look of them. My favorite is the painting that Woody Welch did where he actually incorporated uh, Millicent Patrick into the painting, who was one of the designers who figured out what his, his look was. And she's long overdue for some recognition, and I thought getting some recognition in the art show would be particularly appropriate. From what I've seen so far, everything looks so great here. I mean, each one stands out. And I think so far that this is probably one of the uh, best shows uh, I've seen.